Hello, in this video I want to quickly review these two motherboards that I've bought and have been using for a couple of months now. I'm just finally getting around to making the video for it. I ordered both of these from AliExpress. A quick price point for this 8 GPU motherboard. Uh, you're spending around 80 Canadian dollars. And for the 12 GPU motherboard, you're spending around 85 to 90 Canadian dollars. And it doesn't have a CPU included. So first I'm going to talk about my favorite board, which is this one right here. Uh, it supports 8 GPUs. It's a normal little ATX motherboard. Uh, you do need PCIe risers and you plug them into these USB slots. Uh, but it works really, really well. It's on the DDR3 platform, so it's LGA1155 for the socket. The CPU that I ordered this combo with is the G1620. Uh, you can also get a G1610, but the reason I'm going with the 3rd gen Intel CPU is that it's built on a smaller node than 2nd gen Intel. So if you are ordering a Celeron for one of these boards, make sure you get one that's built on the 22 nanometer uh, basically process. You'll save a couple of watts. Uh, what you have for I.O. is very standard, HDMI, VGA, USB 2, USB 3, Ethernet, nothing fancy there. Uh, the motherboard itself does have these two additional 6-pin PCIe plugs. You do not need to plug them in for it to work. Uh, it also has an MSATA slot here, so if you want to put an SSD right in the board, you can. And then my favorite part is this external power button right there. You just tap that once or twice and it's on and off. It works really, really easily. And I suggest if you're going to be buying this, buy it in a combo with the CPU and CPU cooler. And if you need DDR3 memory, you'll have to order that separately. I already had some from some old computers. So I just put four gigabytes or basically two, two gigabyte sticks per motherboard. But I'm really happy with this and I've ordered about four in total now. I've been running two of them for well over a month and they've worked really, really, really well. All right, the second motherboard here, uh, which I ordered to replace some of my more kind of like standard mainstream LJ1151 motherboards. This here is a BTC250 or a B250C, I mean. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of reviews already online. They work really well. I've run 12 GPUs, no problem, on this board before. This one here, obviously, is brand new. I haven't put a CPU in it yet, uh, but it supports, like, the Celeron G3900. You can get them on AliExpress as well. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. you got two memory slots. This motherboard, in particular, uses DDR4, so that's why, out of the two, if you're going with the 12 GPU build, uh, you'll have to spend a little bit more on like the DDR4 and stuff. That's why I went with the DDR3 one. It was a lot cheaper, but I'll link both in the description. Both of these motherboards work really well for building an open air rig. Obviously, the latest video I did was reviewing a server case, and I personally like the server cases a lot. However, um, if you want to be more power efficient and your temperatures aren't as high where you're mining, the open air rig motherboards like this work really, really well. Um, I don't think there's anything else more to cover here. One thing that this uh, BTC uh, or B250C motherboard doesn't have is that external uh, power button. So you do need to actually have a power button to turn it on and off compared to this cheaper board has the power button on. And uh, for basically your I.O., it's the same deal. You have HDMI, VGA, USB, and Ethernet. And yeah, that's basically my review. I like both of these motherboards, and I will link in the description from sellers that I've bought from before. So, you know, they're trusted. You don't have to buy from the links, but if you are looking for a motherboard, these I found are really cost-effective. There's no point in spending $200, $300 on a mining motherboard because, again, the more you spend, the more it's going to go against your ROI time of all your equipment. Anyways, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out in the comment section below. Thanks.